friends welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial, today we will be going to create this. So open After Effects and create a new composition, I am calling it Logo Animation, set width 1920, and height 1080, set frame rate 30, and duration 10 seconds long. Again create a new composition, it is our shapes composition. Select the pen tool, set fill to none, stoke to fill color white, and set stroke 50 pixels. Hold shift and make the line as shown. Expand the shape layer, go in content, in shape 1, now go in transform shape 1, set skew to 25%. Now add trim paths to it, in trim path set offset to 120 degrees, set end to 0%. Now at the start of the timeline, Create a keyframe on end and offset. Now go on 15 frames, set end 100%, and offset set the second amount to 0 degrees, and first amount to 1. Now go on 5 frames. Create a keyframe on start. Now go on 1 second. Now set start to 100%. Now easy ease all the keyframes. Now select the shape layer, press S to open scale, and set scale to minus 100%. Now duplicate the shape layer adjust as shown, make it more duplicate, and adjust as your taste. After 6 to 7 duplicates, again duplicate the shape layer, change the layer color, of the new shape layer, set stroke to 6%, and adjust as shown. Now make a few more duplicates of it. Now adjust the layer, to make randomness to the animation. Now go in logo animation composition, and drag the shape composition to timeline. Now duplicate the shape composition, go into effects and presets, Search for fill, add it to the first shape layer, and change the color to blue. Of course, you are free to choose your favorite color, turn on the collapse transformation, and adjust the layer. Again duplicate the shape layer, and change the fill color to a different one. Adjust the size of the three layer. and change the mode to screen of all layers. Now pre-compose all the layers, name it slices. Now duplicate the slices layer, add find edges to the layer, check the invert box, adjust the layer, and set the mode to screen. It looks perfect. Now create a new solid layer. Rename it to background. Set it below to all layers. Add a gradient ramp to background layer and change the color to your like. Now import your logo. Change the scale and pre-compose it. Set the logo layer on 15 frames. Now import the slices layer, set it on top of the logo layer, and bring on the 15 frames. Now for the logo comp, set track mat to alpha mat slices, now turn on the collapse transformation of all layers, now import the logo comp from the project panel, and press T to open opacity, 
and set opacity to 0%, now go on 1 second and 10 frames, and create a keyframe on opacity, now go on 2 seconds and set the opacity to 100%. Now easy ease all the keyframes, adjust the keyframes. Now type the text, align it to center, I am using Nexa heavy font, set the text layer below to logo layer, and hide the text layer, now go in effects and presets, and search for card wipe effect, and apply to the top logo layer. In card wipe, set back layer to your text, set columns to 20, and set timing randomness to 0.5, now go on 2 seconds, create a keyframe on transition completion, and set transition completion to 0%, now go on 3 seconds 20 frames, and set transition completion to 100%, you can change the flip axis Y, but I like to this X axis animation, you can play with other settings in the card wipe effect. Now go in position jitter, and go on 2 seconds 10 frames, and create a keyframe on X jitter amount and Y jitter amount and Z jitter amount, now go on 2 seconds and 20 frames, set X jitter amount 1 and Y jitter amount 1 also Z jitter amount to 1. Now go on 3 seconds 10 frames and set XYZ jitter amount 0%. Now select the logo layer, press U to open all keyframes, and easy ease all keyframes, and adjust the keyframes. Now select the logo and text layer and pre-compose it, rename it logo reveal. Now duplicate the logo reveal layer, rename it to logo edge, and add find edges to logo edges composition. Check the invert box. And change blend mode to screen. And bring it few frames right. Now go on 2 second and 10 frames. Press T to open opacity, and create a keyframe on opacity, set opacity to 0%, now go on 3 seconds, and set opacity to 100%, now go on 3 seconds 15 frames, and set opacity back to 0%. Now pre-compose the 2 logo reveal layer, rename it to RGB, on the RGB layer, add shift channels, In shift channels, set red full off, now duplicate the RGB layer. In this second layer set red to red and set blue to full off, and green to full off. Again duplicate the RGB layer, on the top layer, set red to full off, and green to green. Now select all the three RGB layers, and set blend mode to screen. Adjust the layer by one frame, to create glitch effect. Now create a new adjustment layer rename it to glow. Add glow effect to the adjustment layer, in this glow, set the threshold to 80%, and set glow radius to 200%. Now set the adjustment layer below to RGB layers, and set intensity to 0.6. By the way I will give the complete project file in the description. Again create an adjustment layer, rename it to noise. Add noise effect to it. Uncheck the use color noise and clip result values, and set noise amount to 3% to avoid some color blendings. Now create a new null layer, rename it to scale, now select the slices layers and logo composition, and parent with the null object. Now select the scale layer, press S to open scale, 
at start create a keyframe on scale, and set scale to 150%. Now go on 1 second, set scale to 100%. Easy ease all the keyframes. And adjust the graph as shown. Our animation is complete, I will see you in the next video, thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.